welcome back now let's go and start working on the unpress event the first one that we will work upon is going to be that one okay so take this down curly braces and this is going to be asynchronous so in here write async now write in there first we will say if come in controller dot text dot length is that less than seven then right in the curly braces we will show a message so in here we will say global method dot show error dialog is going to take the error and context for now we will just remove that we will add it in a while so in here semicolon and take this down the first thing that we will provide is going to be the error so in here we will show a message that comment cannot be less than 7 also just write characters that is fine in here comma now in here we will provide the contacts in here contacts and that is fine simply means that if the command controller dot text dot length if that less than seven then write in here with the help of global method that we just implemented before right in the previous videos okay right in here in this dot file and we are back on the job detail screen okay and dot show error dialog in here we just provide the error message and there we go with the contacts so there is the working of if now we will go towards the else so right in here we will say else and write in else let's put it down in here we will create a generated id so in here we will say final and we will make this private and gonna name this as a generated id as i tell you and now we will say uu id and we will go with the version 4 as you guys can see so right in here the version 4 of UID is a basically universally unique identifier that is generated using a random numbers and that version of UID produced by this site UID and just to generate using a secure random number generator so it will just generate a random ID okay as you guys can see right in here we just create that and it's gonna assign that generated ID right in this ID okay generated ID so right in here we will add the const modifier and that is fine now right after word you will say avid and when I have the firebase fire store we will create an instance okay and we're gonna create an instance firebase fire store right to the collection from here we will take this down so that you guys can see it easily and right in the collection it's going to be the job collection okay so from there we will just update it okay so let's move further then we will say dot doc and take this down in here we will say widget and we're gonna get the job id we will check that the specific job id and then simply whenever we will get that we will update it get data and in here let's remove that gonna have the curly braces write it there semicolon and that is down then we will say right in here right in the string job 
guys. And guys, look out for the name. Okay. As we told you before, in here column. Then down in here we will see a field. There you go with the suggestion field value. Then we will say array union. There we go. And in here we will provide some elements. Now right in there, call it brushes and write it end comma. Okay, take this down. Now in there, the first thing that we will just update is going to be the user ID. So in here string, then we will say user ID. Now colon, we will create an instance Firebase auth authentication dot instance. Okay, right to all the current user with their specific UID. Okay, now we're gonna simply just update the common ID colon in here, then it's gonna be the generated ID that we just implemented before. Okay, that one. So below this, we're gonna get an update name so in here we will say name put comma right afterwards let's do it for the user image url we can get and update that with the user image there we go with the suggestion and also let's get the comment body daddy Okay, so it's gonna be the comment controller dot text because the comments gonna be right in the comment controller. Okay, so that's why in here we wrote it like that. And right after we're gonna get an update right in the string. And in here colon we will say time stamp dot map. So we're gonna get and update all of that, okay? Right afterwards, whenever we will be done with that, then we will simply show a message for the user with the help of Flutter Toast, okay? So in here, there we go with the suggestion, and we will say dot show toast. It's gonna take the message in here, semicolon, take this down. So let's go with the message and the message that we will show it's gonna be like your comment has been added comma now we will just provide the toast plan let's go with the toast dot length one and right after we will provide the background color colors we'll go with the gray and also we'll provide the font size to 18.0 put comma so that's gonna be the comment text that we will provide and they go with a little design so whenever the comment will be added then right afterwards we're gonna clear the comment controller in which there will be the comment that we use over enter okay as I tell you right in here so below this in here what we will say comment controller dot clear we're gonna clear that whenever the comment gonna be added as I tell you now we will go right at the top and just declare a bool type show comment I have above Here we go right in there we will say bull type I'm gonna name this as a show comment as an issue we'll provide the false now let's go down and implement the code further so here We 
Amiga below this right in here you will say set state since it's a start for with it so in here you will say set state and in here semicolon and take this down in here now we will say should come in we are gonna set this to true because whenever the comment will be added we will show that so in here for now we just implement that bull top and we're gonna set this to true so there's all the working of this on pass event as you guys can see right in here okay for this post button okay now let's move down we will go with this one on press even let's work in there it's going to be simply for this cancel tax button so right in this on press even we will set sit step as i told you before it's a stateful widget so we have to call upon the sit step it's going to change it dynamically the result so take this down from here then in here we will say is commenting we're gonna just assign not sign in here and then we will say is commenting as a teller it will change the result dynamically and then right afterward we will say show comment we're gonna set this to false again because the user whenever will just write or type the comment then not at that time we will show the show comment equals to false we're not gonna show that and let's move down now we are in this row we did right in the else okay so as I told you before there's all the working of if as you guys can see right in here in this row widget okay we are just done with that okay now we will go down add this row widget right in the else so now in here with this on press even let's work in also in here what we will do we will just copy that sister from here copy it and in here paste it we will just remove that okay and we will just leave that as I tell you it's gonna change the result dynamically for the is commenting it's gonna simply for that icon okay add comment as you guys can see right in here for that one now let's move down and we are left with this on press take this down press the comment pass the sister in here also and this time we will remove that move it is going to be simply for that icon okay as you guys can see right in here you guys will notice the output whenever you will test the app you will get the idea it's just a simple code and that's it